Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're we'll looking at how you can register your shell navigation the easy and simple way. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so in one of my videos, uh, we discussed the status bar styling. Uh, if you have not checked that video, I will put the link in uh, the card above or in the description below. Go and check that out. So in that particular video, we look at uh, our status bar and then if you move from one page to another you can see how the status bar is changing so for what we're going to do uh in today's video is to look at how we register our page so quickly i'm going to show you uh what we did so we have uh we we used the uh, three different pages uh in that in that video and then in the shell i'm just going to close some of these things um, so how we can see. So let me go to the shell. And then you can see that in the shell, we are registering uh, all our pages for navigation, right? So we are registering the main page, the page two, page three, and page four. And that was how we were able to do navigation. And if you look at the code behind of each of those pages, you can see we are going to, uh, we're navigating to some of these pages. So now, Imagine that you have a station whereby you have um, you have uh, 10, 20, 50 pages in your application. Then uh, you will have this list will grow bigger. You have like 50 different uh, implementation of these. Uh, there should be a simple way to do this registration, and that's what we're going to look at today. All right. For these to work, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that our shell and the pages are in the same uh, folder. So what I'm gonna do is to move this shell into this folder and then uh, we'll ask it to update the namespace so that it's gonna have the same namespace with all of our pages. So now you can you will see, once that is done, you will see the namespace here uh, should update to uh should update to something else I, I don't see so namespace um let's see i just want to confirm that we have the same namespace so this is this namespace here and this namespace is seems not to be changing yet so uh doesn't seem to change what i'm gonna do is to manually change it so what we'll do is go to our shell and then let the namespace be of this type and then in the shell uh, so the class will be pages the app shell yeah so what i've just done is if you look at this namespace still bar styling dot pages that's the same thing we have for our pages uh, so we have the same namespace across um so i'm going to quickly run this again to be sure that what we have is working still working uh so that we don't lose anything the namespace shell is not working okay so you can see from here we have to also change the namespace back so that we're able to run this yeah so as you can see uh, we still have our pages working. So if you're here to subscribe to this channel, this is a good opportunity to tell that it's free. Uh, you By doing that, you're supporting the work that I do here. And that will make it to reach more people and then I'll be able to, you know, be encouraged to do more. So thank you for subscribing. All right, so now we can see that it's still working. So what we want to do uh, is to go to our app shell .xaml.cs, and then we're going to re comment this out just to remove the things that we've done here now i'm going to try to run this again and uh, we should have an error that we don't have uh, the pages registered and the reason i'm doing that is so that we can see that even though it's working before we are removing the registration and then it will not work and by the time we write our code then we test it and we should be able to see it's working so if i try to navigate now uh there should be an error coming up soon uh, I can see which are still trying to move. I'm trying to click this now. It's not moving at all. Uh, it probably means that 
it's supposed to be showing me the error but it's not showing but as you can see as i click the more i click it's not responding so i'm just going to stop it uh, right here if i look at the outputs there should be something there but uh, nothing however let's just go straight to what we need to do uh, so what we'll just do is let's find um, a, a so inside this common folder now we have a folder i'm just going to put this uh, randomly somewhere you can organize things you know when you're dealing with uh, working with uh, a production hub i'm going to quickly uh, add a class here and then i'm going to call the class uh, routes registrar or roots regist registrar registrar like this you can name it anything uh, that you want i just uh, feel like it's uh, it deals with roots and then some more like a, a registrar so uh this is gonna be i'm gonna make this a public uh, static class and uh, right in this class i'm gonna have an extension method so i'm gonna have a, a public static uh void uh let's call it register roots uh, because it's going to be an extension method what we're going to do is going to say this uh we're going to pass in a shell and then let's give it the name shell so whatever shell is calling this method you know it's extending we are using this method to extend that particular shell so what we're going to do the first thing we're going to do is to find the assembly that that shell uh is in so assembly assembly equals to shell that, that's the part shell we're passing in uh let's get the, the type get type and then as we get the type we can get the assembly out of it and then from there we can now say that um we want to get the type of uh the type from i mean we want to get all the types that we have in this assembly right that corresponds to what we are looking for so we're going to have something like this so once we get sets of uh, types equals assembly dot get types so we're getting all the types now we need to use a uh, link to find what we are looking for then we what we're trying to get is uh we are the namespace the namespace that we have we want to compare it uh we want to compare the namespace of that type to the namespace of the shell if they are in the same namespace and then we want to also make sure that uh they are of uh they are not of the shell type so because if you look at it now let me quickly see what, tell you what, I, what we're doing in this page in this place now we have uh four four items so I, I i think i still even need to move the main page but i'll do that later so we have four items so we want to register these three pages but we don't want to register the shell so when we are getting all the types from here it's going to add the shell to it but we want to get every other type that is not of type shell so that's what we're going to do now so let's say uh our type uh is let's 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 do a comparison string dot equals uh not full name now so that will be t dot namespace t dot namespace and then want to check the shell dot get type dot namespace so want to compare that and then want to use the ordinary ordinal comparison so we just say string comparison dot ordinal uh, let me spring this yeah it's gonna be ordinal so if you look at the ordinal now let me make it to so use the ordinal uh so let's just leave it as this and then we have this case now uh let me see if my all right so i'm going to close that yeah so i'm looking at my my parentheses now to be sure that uh they are closed yeah so we want to check if this and this are equal so uh this namespace is equal to the namespace from the shell that is calling this extension method and the type that is inside you know is they have the same namespace 
and now we we'll also now want to check let me go um let me bring this uh to the to the so let me just from here i'm gonna say and so right underneath uh, the next line i want to add uh, just so we have we have the same so let me just bring that in here pardon my typing yeah so i can also so and we want to say t is not equal to shell dot get type so now this is this is giving us all this and now we want to pass that to either a list or to array so i'm going to use an array here so let me show you let me quickly show you what we've done again here we're getting all the types that are in this assembly that is the assembly of our shell and we are checking we are, the one that we're picking will be if the namespace are the same and the the type is not of type shell because we don't want to register the shell so once we have this now this is going to give us an array can you see the type of types and what we need to now do is to register all these types so what we then do now is just say for each for each type in types we want to say routing just like what we used to do dot register routes and then we say what is the 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 routes uh the route string so that would be type dot name that is the name of that page now and then the type that i want to register is the type so this is all we need to do uh let me do a recap we got the assembly from the shell that is that is extending uh that is calling this extension method we get the assembly and then from that assembly we want to get all the types i want all the types to be in the same assembly as the shell so if the type is not in the same assembly as, as the shell we don't want to register because you can have a sh two different shells that you want to you know register different routes so that's what we are doing this way uh other than that you can just just get all the types and then register them but we want to make sure that this shell these types these pages that we are getting are in the same uh namespace as our shell so we we'll get the type we we'll compare the namespace if they are equal and then we want to make sure that the type is not of the type shell because we don't want to register the shell we want to register all the other pages and then we'll pass that to an array and from that array uh, we'll take each of those types and then we'll register them now the last thing we just need to do is to go to our shell now this is the this is the shell that we'll call it and just right here we can just say something like uh these we not necessarily want this dot um let's say register route so you can see from our um namespace custom and that's it so with this now if i launch the application we should be able to navigate to uh, all the pages except the main page by the time we want to go back to the main page i'm sure it's not going to work because it's not in the same namespace so if, it, if i click this now you can see now that it's working uh so subscribe to this channel if you're yet to let's go to page two, three we can go to page four if i try to go back to page to the main page you can see that it's not working now let's move the main page this is the main page that we have let's move it to uh the same namespace and let's update uh adjust the namespace yes let's adjust it so let's be sure that it's already adjusted it's not so what i'm going to do is to adjust it manually i don't know you should have to usually adjust it but for one reason it's not so let's say dot pages so now i'm adjusting this manually now i'm going to save and i'm going to run this again um something is wrong or oh, for here i need to bring in the namespace local dot dot pages yeah and then let's run it so everything should still should work back the same way we, we started uh, from 
So go to page two, page three. Let's go back to the main page. Now we're able to go back to the main page. Page two, three, page four, then back to the main page. All right, guys. So you can see how easy it is for you to register uh, in the shell uh, in, in .NET Maui using this method. And the good thing about this method is once you add more pages to uh, the you know to the folder to that namespace you don't need to manually add anything it's going to be it's going to automatically register uh that page as a root as a root for you if you have enjoyed this video don't, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're yet to do so and i will see you in the next video